It is being processed as one big argument and then getting the name of the file. So with shebangs on Linux, you can only pass one argument. Anything to the right of that first file, anything after that first space or white space will get treated as one argument. So what was happening with the env command then? env got that head minus four. If you remember head space minus four, it was getting it as one big giant string. I'll show you. User bin env head minus four. This was getting passed as one big file name. Anything we put here would have been part of that file name. That's not good, but env has a special flag, that minus s flag. So, uh, where is it? Here it is. Minus s, split string, process and split s into separate arguments used to pass multiple arguments on shebang lines. There you go. The env command is what did this. But you might be saying to yourself, but wait, Dave, I don't remember dash capital S being there because if we pull up the POSIX specification, it's not there. There is no dash capital S. We have dash I here. We don't have dash S. That is not a POSIX flag. That doesn't mean the Linux version is wrong. It just means it has functionality that is not defined here. So dash S is not portable. You might not find that on other operating systems. It seems to be, uh, I, I've tested it myself, it seems to be on some operating systems, not others, but this is part of the GNU core utils. In fact, we can pull it up right here. Here we go, I got the source code for ENV. This is part of the core utils. This is what ships with uh, most Linux distributions will have this. You'll have the GNU user land core utils tool. This will have the logic to take that dash S and actually parse it. So here we go. Take a look at this function inside env.c. We have parse split string. Process a dash s string and create the corresponding argv array. Update the given argc argv parameters with the new argv. What this means is if you call env like this, notice that it's dash capital S, and then you can just have stuff inside one big string or maybe you have some extraneous arguments. Here's how env will receive it. And at the end of this function, they will all be separate arguments. So the Linux kernel is executing the program and it's giving it to ENV as one big giant string. Literally ENV is seeing dash capital S space, all the arguments space, 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 space as one big string. This function is what's responsible for breaking it into separate arguments so it can parse it like multiple options. That's what the env command is doing. This translation is happening in user land because of the GNU core utility. So Linux can handle this with env minus s. Without it, the kernel just passes one big giant string.